NFL said after what we saw yesterday, mm, yeah, y'all not going to have that afternoon spot. YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, another schedule update. Originally, um, the Ravens, the, the only game that they had got flexed this season was the Packers game, uh, which happened last week. And that ended up being a really, really good game. Close game was just amazing. Obviously, wish it would have ended a lot differently, but we already talked about that. Don't need to get into it. Um, but this game, this game between the uh, Rams and the Ravens, it was originally when this was first put on the schedule. This was that. This was that seventeenth game. This was the game that got added to the Ravens schedule and the Rams schedule, of course. Um, and it was like, oh, okay, this this is gonna be a go, and it's gonna be a showdown. Lamar Jackson and that Ravens offense versus Matt Stafford and that Rams offense, and then you got all these crazy playmakers from both teams on defense too. But. The Ravens and Rams, they seem like right now they're headed in two different directions. And the NFL looked at it and was like, mm, yeah, no. Now, this is weird because normally when it comes to flexing games, the NFL, I believe it has to give a 10-day notice. I believe. But I guess they were like, you know what? For these Ravens, we're going against the rules. We are going against the rules. Um, I, I, I don't know like how they, I mean, I know it's NFL, so they like reign supreme and all that, but I don't know why, why they decided to, to change the rules all of a sudden for this Ravens game, but it is what it is. So the game now, this, uh, this Sunday, it's not at 425 anymore, even though I, I, I like them 425 games. I love them because you get a nice little break in the morning. You get to relax a little bit. Even uh, for people that are actually going to the game, like as far as tailgating and stuff, it's, it's less of a rush because you ain't got to be there as early, but it's just, I like the 425 games. But NFL was like, we don't like the Ravens and we don't like how y'all been playing and y'all on this four game losing streak. The Rams, they've been taking care of their business, but y'all on this four game losing streak. And yeah, nah, mm -mm, nope. And then y'all got all that, all that stuff with the COVID and the injuries. And we don't know if we're even going to get to see Lamar. You know, uh, let's just make this an early one. But see, every action has a reaction. And I, with, with this action of them changing the Ravens game, moving it uh, to 1 p.m., I'm like, okay, so what else did the NFL do? So I had to see how they reacted. And what else they changed in order to make this game uh, be at one. And I looked and I saw that they were moving the Panthers and the Saints to that spot that the Ravens and the Rams. Like, what? The Panthers and the Saints? Like, the Panthers, they, they ain't in no playoff contention. But And, and they, they just got dog walk yesterday, too. And, of course, we all saw the, the, the infamous play with Robbie Anderson. Caught a really nice pass. But he was celebrating, pointing and stuff and celebrating all that. Doing his whole Chase Claypool thing. But And they were down, like, I think 36-3. to three, Something crazy like that. But that's the game that you moved to that spot. Like, really? If it, if it was any other game, like, but, but that? Like, come on now, man. But, anyway. Um, I just, like, uh I, 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 I didn't get that part. I can understand why the NFL, all right, we, we ain't getting Lamar. We know that's our money maker. That's one of our big money makers, especially when it comes to the Ravens. That's why we gave Ravens all these primetime games and stuff. But they were like, oh, Lamar, Ravens must have told NFL, yeah, look, Lamar's not playing. Don't, don't, don't tell Ravens fans that, though. Don't, don't tell nobody that. Don't, but Lamar's not playing. He ain't playing. So they probably gave the NFL that little heads up. And NFL was like, oh, okay. <laughs> we we thought there was a chance, but since there's not a chance, yeah. All uh, right, y'all not getting this. And they were like, Josh Johnson, we know he's been around for a long time, which is great. But no. Tyler Huntley, if he gets off the COVID list, that'd be cool. But no. Y'all can have one o'clock. So with that, um, this could actually pose as a slight advantage for the Ravens. Because the Ravens, they are at the crib, as you all know. This game is at M&T Bank Stadium, and we know the L.A. Rams, they're a West Coast team. So when a West Coast team 
they have to not only travel for the game, but they also have to uh, play a lot earlier than what they're used to. See, we are creatures of habit. We're creatures of routine. We as humans, we like doing the same thing over and over and over. We love it. That's why John Harbaugh liked going for two so much. But we like doing the same thing over and over and over. And when that thing that we do over and over and over gets messed up, when it gets thrown off, that can throw us off and that can bother us. And they can be like, man, like, why? Why, why are we fixing what's not broken? Why are we changing the routine? Why are we messing up the setup? Well, what's up? And that's, what, that's how this situation can slightly help the Ravens a little bit with this game being moved up even earlier because obviously the Rams are traveling. So that helps the Ravens, but then the game now is earlier. So before the game was going to be at, uh, I believe they three hours back. So before the game was going to be at 1.25 their time, but now the game is at uh, 12, 10, 11, 11 a.m. their time. So take that with, not even a grain of salt. I mean, take it for what it is. I mean, they still a professional team that got professional players that got ballers on their squad. They got a Matt Stafford. They got a, <laughs> ooh, they got a Cooper Cup. And Cooper Cup been breaking all type of records. Even though I, I really do think that the Ravens, um, they, I, I think they do something with. I don't think he's gonna break. I don't think he's gonna go off like crap. But we we could talk about that later. We talk about that later. They get Jimmy. They could possibly get Jimmy Smith and Chris Westry back, and that would be huge for this game. Because Ravens need all the help that they could possibly get. They need like for everybody to come off that COVID list. They need to bring guys back from injury reserve. They need it all because these last two games are everything. Um, and you again, you got to win out right now. As of right now, right here, right now, before the game tonight. The Ravens, they got that spot. They got the seventh seed. If the Dolphins lose, then the Ravens still got it. If the Dolphins win, then the Dolphins take it. And if Dolphin, I believe if Dolphins win tonight and they win out, then it's all theirs. It's all theirs, I believe. I'm not 1,000% sure on that. I'm like 90, about 89%, 90% on that. Um, so, I mean, hopefully it doesn't come to that situation. Even though Ravens been getting helped literally all year long. Like we said in the video last night, it, there's been so many weeks where Ravens, they don't take care of business. Or something. A lot of times where they do take care of business, but a lot of times where they don't take care of business and this team will lose. Oh, okay, Ravens still in contention. Oh, this team will lose. Okay, Ravens still alive. Oh, this team will lose. Oh, yeah, Ravens still. Okay. So, and it happened again yesterday. That's why it's so crazy that Ravens are in the seventh seed. And I know my guy, uh, I believe it was my guy, Quan, Quan 93. He was like, well, the, the Ravens, they took care of their business early on in the season. So they do deserve to have that spot. But, I mean, <laughs> look at them last four games. And I know, yeah, early on in the season they were winning. So that was great. But just how this season has been, especially how uh, the, and the, the games that they've lost uh, and the way that they've lost them, it's just, I, I just felt like they, uh, They've been in position to win a lot of those games. Not, not the Bengals game and not the first Bengals game and not the second Bengals game. So those two, you can throw those out the window. But um, as far as the, the, the Packers game, the Steelers game, the Browns game, uh, the Dolphins game. Dolphins were just, they were playing some phenomenal defense. And Ravens were just, they were out of it for a long time in that one. It was close, but the Dolphins, like, they were controlling it. But Ravens just did not have an answer for what Dolphins were doing. Um, and that was sort of a downward spiral for the Ravens. Uh, but, I mean, it is what it is. I I'm happy that they are in this spot to where they actually have a shot to make the playoffs. So we'll see how those Saints do uh, tonight. Um, so go Saints. I heard that they may be starting like a rookie quarterback or something like that. I heard they got a bunch of guys on the COVID list. So <sighs> I expect the Dolphins to win. But I, I'm hoping, we're hoping that the Saints win. Um, but, I mean, we'll see. We'll be watching very watching that game very, very closely. Um, just like the NFL was watching our game yesterday very closely. And they were like, okay, yeah, we, we turn this off. We turn this off and we taking them off. So, this game, man, I mean, it, it's going to be a very tough one. Uh, regardless of if this schedule, the schedule change gives the Ravens an advantage or not, it is still a very, very tough one 
because you're going up against a squad like you you think Joe Burrow and them like to throw the ball? Oh, Matt Stafford, that's right up his alley, man. That's right up his alley. Like, and, and you got Cooper Cup, not only Cooper Cup, but you also got a familiar face. But see, we got we got Odell Beckham Jr. And I know usually with Odell Beckham Jr. on the Browns, Browns Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, Ravens, you they they did a pretty good job against him. But the other Odell Beckham Juniors, we don't know yet. Because against the Giants, for the longest, oh well, actually for the quarter. Remember when we played the Giants and we played Odell? Jimmy Jimmy Smith blocked them down. Now I know that's what the, we don't have the same Jimmy Smith that we once had before. But Jimmy Smith, he held down. Odell Beckham Jr. wasn't doing nothing. Nothing. Oh, but then Jimmy Smith got hurt. And we know the rest of the story. Odell went off after that. Even scored the game-winning touchdown, making Ravens players run into each other, making Ravens players trip each other up as he went on to score the game-winning touchdown. Mm, I remember that game. Wow. Uh, but now we get the Rams version of Odell Beckham Jr., and he does have, again, a Cooper Cup on the other side who is just looking to... And, and see, the thing with Cooper Cup, and this ain't necessarily a preview of the game, but I guess we can dive in a little into the game a little bit. But the thing with Cooper Cup that's so scary is that you could look at him and you could be like, <laughs> this, this dude ain't about to do nothing to me. This, this dude, please, he ain't about to do nothing. Oh, he ain't, he ain't about to burn me. He, oh, he might catch, but he ain't, he ain't about to go off. Wrong. Wrong. This is why route running, man, route running is just so, it's more important than speed. It's more important than size. Because Cooper Cup, he ain't the biggest. He ain't the fastest. He ain't the tallest. But his route running is immaculate. He got it down. He got it down. And his hands are A1. So, you combine those two. And he got that quickness to him, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's going to be a game. It's going to be a game. Ravens do not have any easy ways into the playoffs. And then, of course, when they put themselves in this situation to make it that much harder, um, it, it just makes it that much tougher. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but instead of us seeing at 430 or 425, whatever you want to say, uh, we'll be seeing at 1 p. Him. So make sure you don't forget, especially if y'all are going to the game, because I know some people got their alarm set. All right. Hey, around like two o'clock, we'll start getting ready to head down to Ravens Walk, go tailgate, go to lot E, lot G, lot whatever. Let's go see the players when they walking in at lot G. Let's go do this, that and the third. Make sure you set your alarms to do that about three, four hours earlier than you had already planned it. Please don't forget. Please don't forget because I will feel so bad. Well, I won't feel too bad because you had you had plenty of warnings. We warned you here. If you got Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, anything, you will have seen it there too. Um, and hopefully for ticket holders, uh, let me see if Raven sent out the text yet. Um, okay, they, they didn't send out the text yet. Uh, but I'm sure Ravens will send out that text to where they say, oh, the game got changed to 1 p.m. Um, so anyway, don't, don't, don't be that person where you, oh man, I didn't even know. So anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all and hope y'all having a really good Monday. We out.